The True Grimoire is Jake Stratton Kent's first entry in his Encyclopedia Goetica trilogy, which was published by Scarlet Imprint. Now, this particular one came out in, I let me see, 2010, so actually quite a while back. It was a certainly an early book. I remember seeing the um, the, the the standard hardcover in Watkins books and thinking my goodness that is a beautiful book and then going a little bit closer and opening it up and thinking to myself what am I looking at and um, it is an infernal book for sure and it's taken me quite a long time to come around to be okay with reading it uh, uh, my my background is um, maybe a little skittish on the infernal side and um it's it has taken me a little while to um, to get round to it I did eventually want to buy the <laughs> the nice standard hardcover edition but uh, that's been out of print for a very long time now and uh, uh while it is possible to find it that the price is just exorbitant by now the bibliothèque rouge paperback edition by scarlet in print is actually really nice I can show you that that little cover there. How cool is that little salamander there? And and what's really nice about the uh, uh, this the, the the collection is that well, this first book has got yeah this this cross on it, um, and then the second book has got in Roman numerals, I believe, uh, one and two, and then uh, the third uh, book or it's a pair of books has got two stars uh, on it so one star on the first book and two stars on the second and and yeah they form a collection i thought this naming this collection of of paperbacks bibliothèque rouge was really a a stroke of genius of course uh, scarlet imprint um would have no other color than red, right? And uh, and the Bibliothèque Rouge is a wink to the Bibliothèque Bleu grimoires, which were hawked uh, from door to door in uh, 17th and 18th century France. And and, uh, and yeah, and this true grimoire is Jake Stratton Kent's exposure of one of the Bibliothèque Bleu grimoires being the Grimorium Verum. Um, possibly one of the the more chthonic of the um, uh, Bibliothèque Bleu Grimoires, if if it's possible <laughs> to have one that's even more chthonic than the next. Uh, they are certainly very very black magic uh, books. They are very beautiful in many ways, and if you look at them through the eyes of history, I would say that. They're, you know, they're, they're, they're absolutely wonderful artifacts, but uh, certainly they, they shine a, how could I say, uh, a, a possibly a, a worrying light on, on uh, uh, French rural history. Now, the, um, the, the structure of this particular book is very interesting. There's an introduction, but the introduction really isn't an introduction for people who don't already know what this stuff is. It's an introduction explaining Jake Stratton Kent's research method and also um, uh, explaining the, the extent of, of his research. Uh, and then there is the grimoire itself, followed by uh, the Cabala of the Green Butterfly, which is appended in some of the um, uh, Italian versions. Um, and then there is a very, very extensive commentary and, and notes on the grimoire itself. And you'll notice that for each part, there's, there's quite a lot going on. Notes on the first part, who are the spirits that's still relevant to the first part, a unified hierarchy of goetic spirits. It's just, it's basically notes and then appendices to the notes and then further appendices to the notes and then notes on the second part. So every little bit, every little section that happens in that second part has got its own notes going on there. And then there's a comment on the second part and then, you know, more appendices on constructing Verum spells. And then he goes into notes on the third part and then uh, talking about the ritual procedure, the grimoire. Jake Stratton Kent is a practitioner and he has spent a lot of his time working out 
practical ways of actually using the Grimorium Virum as a as a basis for practice. And, well, you should probably know that, well, if you don't know already, that um, while most practitioners nowadays tend to use uh, a, a, an, an angel, a, a, a holy guardian angel, in fact, to um, inform <laughs> the rest of their practice, Jake Stratton Kent rather looks for patron demons, uh, so a, a demon that can introduce him to further demons, right? So, uh, yeah, it's it's very much an infernal practice, uh, uh, diametrically opposed to what um, a lot of people might call high magic, but very much with the same aims, from what I understand, uh, just, uh, just, just with a very different... Um, a different energy, I suppose you could say. Now, the amount of knowledge that is on display here is, I'm going to go ahead and say intimidating. It's very clear that this is a work of absolute dedication. Uh, Jake Stratton Kent clearly knows everything about his topic, but also everything around his topic, and also everything around everything that is around his topic. Um, the, 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 the level of rigor uh, that has gone into his explanation, into his uh, detailing, into his um, uh, comparisons with, with other grimoires, uh, uh, but also research from other specialists in the field and um, uh, and and what they or may may or may not have had access to and so on and so forth it's just gigantic um, uh, and and very very thorough and and would certainly stand up to uh, any kind of scrutiny uh, i i'm 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 very very impressed one thing I would say for sure is that this is not for somebody who doesn't know anything about the grimoires. This is, uh, yeah, it, it's it's not an introduction. Um, uh, it contains the grimoire itself, right? Uh, the, so that's that's great, and anyone can read the grimoire. It's certainly. Um, I was going to say entertaining, but it's actually quite shocking in parts. Um, as a lot of the Bibliothèque Bleu grimoires really are, to be honest. But um, yeah, I've, I've already covered that topic when I reviewed uh, the Petit Albert and, uh, and the other uh, Bibliothèque Bleu grimoires uh, published by the Black Letter Press. Um, but uh, but the, the amount that is there to be learnt for the average reader about the history of infernal practice is tremendous, absolutely huge. Every page has got a, a mountain of information. Um, and, and yeah, if, if you're a scholar, if you're uh, interested in, in, in these kinds of um, uh, topics, whether you're intending to put them to practice or not, um, uh, I would say probably even more if you're not. Um, uh, there, there is, there really is no way you're going to find a more complete, um, a more comprehensive uh, cover of every single aspect that there is to cover uh, of the Grimorium Virum, and there certainly is a lot. There certainly is a lot. Can see a lot of those sigils there, and uh, and, and comparisons with uh, with other sources, and and so on and so forth. The uh, the appendices are also quite um, uh, quite copious. A very interesting long appendix on Astaroth and uh, and the origins of Astaroth. Another there about uh, Goetia and the New World. Uh, the Virum and the Cult of Quimbanda, uh, which is the, um, the Brazilian 
uh, tradition. There we go. Uh, and of course, there's an index in the back. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 um, <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, suitably impressed. It's a comprehensive read and one from which I've learned a tremendous amount. <laughs> I don't, I have no idea how I'll feel about all of this in five to 10 years. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, from a from a scholar point of view, this is um, unequaled, absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching the review. Um, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if uh, you enjoyed the video, and to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Uh, see you very soon with another video. Uh, take care. Bye bye.